Arkansas Bottomland Hardwoods, unlike any other. 200 years ago, magnificent bottomland hardwood forests covered almost 30 million acres across the southeastern states of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and Arkansas. Today only 4.4 million acres remain and at 550,000 acres the big woods of Arkansas is the largest corridor of bottomland hardwood forest remaining in the Mississippi Delta. The big woods contain the remaining Arkansas flood plain forest lining the Mississippi, White, and Lower Arkansas rivers, as well as the Cache River and its main tributary, Bio de View. Bio de View flows through parts of Woodruff, Monroe, and Prairie counties, and it sits near our hometown of Brinkley. In 1990, this White River, Cache River, and Bio de View floodplain was named a wetland of international importance. Characteristics You may be asking yourselves, what exactly is bottomland hardwood? The trees in this area are classified as hardwood because of the plant reproduction. All trees reproduce by producing seeds, but the seed structure varies. Hardwood trees are angiosperms, which are flowering plants that can produce seeds with a hard covering. The areas they typically grow in are called bottomlands. Bottomlands are located along streams and rivers that frequently flood. They provide good characteristics for farmlands because of the rich soil created by the flooding. Hardwood trees are usually the only ones able to survive in these areas that are either seasonally flooded or covered with water much of the year. Bottomland hardwood forests are classified as river swamps. The plant and animal communities in these woods are among the most biologically diverse and dynamic in the world. is that what makes bottomland hardwood forests so important is uh, they are our richest ecosystem when it comes to plants and wildlife. Um, literally hundreds of animal species, uh, birds, mammals, amphibians, reptiles, fishes. When I say hundreds, I probably should say thousands because we're, we really are looking at all animals that we can even imagine that occur in the bottomland hardwood forest. animals. A variety of rare and unique animals call the big woods their home. The animals that are most commonly seen here include the white-tailed deer, fish such as the white crappie, and the channel catfish, rabbits, snakes such as the cottonmouth, and copperheads, and of course various species of birds. The birds that one might hear about the most are the wood duck, the mallard duck, the yellow-bellied sapsucker, the chickadee, the great blue heron, various species of warblers, the eastern screech owl, the red-headed, and also the pileated woodpeckers. In 2005, the ivory-billed woodpecker was rediscovered in the Big Woods region of Arkansas near our hometown of Brinkley. The ivory-billed once flourished in bottomland hardwood forests all across the southeastern states of America. 
but for the past 60 years was believed to have been extinct. Trees and Plants The Big Woods area is made up of more than 20 distinct natural plant communities. The types of trees living in the bottomland hardwood forest are able to survive in watery conditions year round. Oak trees such as the overcup and nut hole, the bald cypress, water tupelo, and the water hickory are commonly found in the big woods. One will also stumble upon a variety of other plants when in the big woods. Plants like the giant cane, royal fern, woolly bulrush, blunt spike rush, American lotus, and the common cattail can be seen almost all over. Restoration During the late 1880s and early 1900s, much of the bottomland hardwood ecosystem was cleared to be used for farmland. There are still many threats to the forest such as forest fragmentation, poor water quality, and the disturbance of natural flooding cycles. Today, government agencies, private organizations such as the Nature Conservancy and Audubon Arkansas, and private landowners are beginning to transform farmland into forests. For these restoration efforts, Brinkley High School East Lab students and science classes volunteered with the Nature Conservancy to help plant 3,000 live tree stakes at the Benson Creek Restoration Site. I'm Matt Lindsley with the Nature Conservancy. I'm the Delta Project Manager. I um, spend most of my time working in eastern Arkansas. Benson Creek is on an agricultural site. Um, like most ag sites in the Delta, it was at one time ditched and drained so uh, to alleviate flooding. The Nature Conservancy has purchased 440 acres out here and we are recreating a me meandering stream with riffles and pool habitat features for wildlife and also to recreate the natural flood regime to improve bottomland hardwood habitat. These forests have quietly ruled over the land for thousands of years and must be saved for future generations. We can begin conserving this unique ecosystem by educating others about its importance. As Baba Dion said, in the end we will conserve only what we love, we will love only what we understand, and we will only understand what we have been taught.